Ecuadorian President Daniel Noba says his country is in a state of an internal armed conflict. He's ordered the army to take military action against drug gangs in the country. On Tuesday, armed men stormed a live TV show before being overpowered and arrested by police. Security forces are out in force on the streets as well. Ecuador has been rocked by a series of violent attacks, including the abduction of a number of police officers. The outbreak of violence followed the apparent escape from prison of a drug cartel leader on Sunday. Adolfo Macias, also known as Fito, was serving a 34-year sentence for murder and narcotics trafficking. And for more on this developing story, let's bring in DW's Nicole Riss, who joins us from neighboring Bogota in Colombia. Now, the president has declared a state of internal armed conflict, but what exactly does that mean? Aaron, what we are watching here unfold in these past few hours is really unprecedented for Ecuador. This is just another low in the whole security crisis that uh, the country has been enduring these past years, really. And President Daniel Novoa really is trying to crack down on the situation, is trying to get it back under control. Um, this declaration uh, is basically enabling military and also police forces to uh, be increased on the streets. They're able to intervene not only on the streets, but also to crack down inside of buildings. And this is uh, happening as we are speaking. Noboa in his declaration also said that he wants to, uh, in his words, neutralize more than 20 of the criminal gangs in the country. He only took office in November. So this is his first really severe security crisis. And this was also one of his main promises, that he's going to crack down on criminal activities and violence in the country. In the meantime, the situation at the TV station has been resolved. The perpetrators, the attackers have been arrested and they may be uh, getting charges for terrorism as well. There have also been reported some incidents at the University of Guayaquil, for example, with armed individuals. So uh, activities at the university, but also at other educational institutions have been suspended until Friday. So we're talking about about a very tense situation here, uh, also a bit um, chaotic. We don't know what is happening when exactly, but uh, basically uh, Noboa is declaring war on these criminal gangs, on the violence in the country, and it is very unclear how the situation will unfold in the upcoming hours or also uh, in the upcoming days, because this is not only uh, a moment in time, this is probably going to develop further. Now, as you said yourself, these attacks are unprecedented and they're more the type of attacks we typically see from terror groups. Do we know exactly what these gangs are attempting to achieve with these attacks? It is yet uh, a bit unclear what they want to achieve exactly. This seems to be a reaction to recent uh, declarations of a state of emergency, for example, that came late Friday. Also, the disappearance of Fito, one of the gang members that you just mentioned there. Um, and also, this is a game of power, a game of control. They're obviously trying to show who is in control of the country. Lately, it uh, seemed more that uh, criminal gangs are in control of the country. And uh, lots of the drug operations that have been increasing in these past few years actually also being operate for, operated from inside of prisons. So there have been very violent incidents over this past year, for example, in prisons that are in connection with drug trafficking, with uh, a criminal um, organization, and uh, they have links to cartels in Mexico. They have also links to drug organi organizations here in Colombia, and actually people here in Colombia find that Ecuador is right now experiencing a situation that they have seen also in the 1980s, for example, with their war on gang crime and drug trafficking, which was very severe and very traumatic for the country. That was DW's Nicole Riss. I'm afraid we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you very much for your reporting.